Okay, I'm Sebastian. Not me. I'm working on the animal shelter record software. Yeah, relatively self-explanatory work on that game. But uh, it's essentially, you know, a software for managing uh, uh, data that animal shelters have to deal with their animals, their employees, their, uh, their farms, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it all goes to a database. Uh, kind of, uh, I'm just going to go over what we finished over the summer. Uh, sure. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we spoke before the uh, we want with this database system for users to be able to create custom records that uh, that are include like field boxes and other things that uh, can be filled in, but uh, things to be used as a record uh, because we can't predict what all we can't uh, create just like. Tons of templates for possible different records or something. We don't really know what everyone's needs are going to be. Right. So um, we uh, sort of put the groundwork uh, for that. So far. Yeah. Um, most of it. Uh, most of really what we worked on is for the summer is that whole being able uh, giving the user the ability to custom make their uh, their own records. Like, you know, move around the uh, their they make labels, text boxes, things like that them around. Uh, they all have types, like it's an integer or a date or a string or something. It'll check the validity of the data that you input into it. Um, and every time that you create uh, a file it, uh, or a different type of record, it will uh, you know, write a text file. I guess we could probably, probably use it to do it in like XML or something like that. Real easy. And, uh, Later, that can be used as a template. So, if they want to kind of have the same file with the same data, but they want it to look different, they can uh, they can do that as well. Um, um, what we want to finish this summer, really, uh, we don't. Michael had to leave earlier. He's our other partner, but uh, we haven't really implemented the SQL stuff. We're trying to hook everything to uh, databases um, and be able to search through all the animals and things like that based on, you know, if you have a list of you know, a million animals or something, you want to be able to uh, check, is this, uh, you know, I don't know, female animals or animal on the horses or something like that. Uh, and then we'll try to make things a little bit more pretty, just in this little background you left. Uh, and then, uh, Eventually, we want to be able to, people have the records and choose the, where they want to place all the components, but we want them to be able to put images on there and stuff like that, or a little more uh, custom stuff. And then we need a ton of uh, animal data to just test with big stuff. Um, some of the issues that we ran into is that our scheduling is kind of weird, so it's hard for us to kind of uh, meet together and figure out what we're doing. Um, also, we were still for a very long time very confused about how it works. Uh, it's awful. <laughs> I love people, but he doesn't treat you well. And uh, King has a, was having laptop problems over this week. He had to kind of the only way he could write code was to longboard down to my apartment and uh, you know write on my computer and then go back up. So it's kind of it's work. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess. I'll Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. So when you make it, you uh, just create form. I should have a save dialog box here, but there's not really enough. I didn't put enough time into it. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So I want to add record, file, I'll do the one I just created, and then It's all the way to the bottom. I can't uh, use it. You can't test it. Yeah, I can't test it because the resolution is changing. But anyway, what it would it would light up the field boxes red and it would say, you know, invalid data, you can change it.